So now, next chart is to let you take a look what we mean by different mesh topology, right? And on this chart, you see there are probably six figures on this chart. On the very top left-hand side, that's what we call shared H mesh. That was used, uh, I have what well believe, 35 years ago. Even some code today are using that, that mesh because relatively easy to generate. And sometimes for, for total machinery, you can add a little bit more model to it. But that this type of mesh may will not give you the accurate solution you need it because they did not displace the mesh displacement is not appropriate to give you high accuracy with a reasonable number of meshes. You know, you, although you need to use very, very dense mesh to cover everything, but then you get into the stripes issue. So this is not preferred mesh for today's modern turbo machinery application. The next thing is the lower left down the, the lower side, it's a hyper H, what we call hyper H mesh. It's trying to resolve the issue of mesh bunching. And as you can see, the shear H mesh, there's a two, two bands of very dense mesh, very close to each other, where you know you created a zone where the flow feel evolving pretty difficult. Right? So what people will be able to do at the time is write something called poison solver to relax the mesh in those regions and uh, make it more reasonably displayed mesh. The center, top center one, is a step improvement than the hyper H mesh. And what the what 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 kind of improvement we're talking about is adding O mesh around the L foyer so you can capture the leading edge more leading edge and trailing edge more accurately. And take away the singular point, singularity at the leading edge associated with H mesh. And this, this OH mesh is pretty today's standard industry. Okay. And then what follows is what we call OHH mesh. And uh, to really prevent, to circumvent some problem we all see on OH mesh. You see the mesh, OH mesh on top. The mesh come into the leading edge, come off from trailing edge, have large holes, right? And I always said, mesh is nothing but a fishing net. If you have a large hole, the more important fish you're gonna leak out. In other words, fish gonna go. You're not gonna catch it. So we really need to place the mesh in the right place, right density. To achieve that, Nowadays, we come up with a little bit more advanced mesh generating capability called OHH mesh. That's shown in the bottom uh, center. This is a relatively course, just give you an idea of what we really meant by OHH mesh. OHH mesh, there's five blocks, okay? And there's a lower side H mesh and the upper side H mesh. And then there is O mesh in the center, and H mesh in the front block, and the H mesh at the downstream block. As you can see, now the whole large hole from the previous chart or upper mesh now disappeared. Now give you a much nice smooth distribution. This is a bottom chart. The next one is upper left hand side upper left hand side. That is what we can do also a square trailing edge. But what event, why, why, why do you want to square trailing edge? And when you're working with very low speed flow, round trailing edge generally will create a vortex shading. The solution may be also to re in as you evolve in time. To give you a little more confident prediction of flow field, to reach a steady state quickly, then you, you can really cut off a trailing edge, make a very sharp the decision say where the flow separates instead of alternatively create a flow field change in time where you not be able to determine when the flows converged. Right? And maybe this is a good practice even in the daily application. 
new aircraft, if I remember correctly, the old, a lot of them are square trailing edge. It's cut off very sharply. And this is not because of what I, to make the solution the numerical is a little more steady, I also have a physical purpose associated with it. So that's really the five mesh topology for two-dimensionally, you see. And the lower right-hand side is the kind of mesh when you want to use to do analysis. It's what we call grid OHH mesh. It's dense enough to cap capture all the flow physics. So this is showing all the choices on Blade, from the blade to blade view, top view. So what we recommend is using the OHH mesh type and that's shown on the lower right hand side.